Welcome back to Isla Familia. I'm very sleepy. Um, we are now in Dumaguete Airport. Just the three of us because we have to go to Manila, like to my city. Going to the father of colleagues because for the bur for, for his burial, you know, guys. And he will stay there for a, for a week until the you know we put we go with them to the uh, how you call this uh, graveyard you know something like that the father of colleagues died uh, just right before the new year's eve because he have some complication he have diabetes then uh, he have also like a kidney failure then the last time we we talked to him like December 28th we did like a video call with his father you know like the chatting chatting and that was the last time we talked and 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 you know like that time he said that oh colleagues I need to go to bed because he have problem with breathing he have like you know he ha he have like uh, cannot breathe properly so you know and he's living like alone so he's like the brother of him and the aunties is like looking after him so that time december 31 in the afternoon i received the message from the messenger from his messenger that brother is passed away so i wasn't sure who was the brother so i tried to call soon but they didn't pick up my call it wasn't on after in the like in the evening yeah it was confirmed his father died so i you know i tried to take i mean you know like the perfect timing to tell calix because that time calix was playing with the friends and he was very happy that time you know i don't like to cry so yeah you know like guys we are very thankful for Matt that he allowed us to go there for his father last so you know this is the last time he will see his father so you know i'm also sad for him see you there i cannot stand anymore another thing why matt didn't come with us because it will be very expensive for four of us go there you know like all of three all of us like three <coughs> already like 30,000 guys almost like that 30,000 so if Matt will go also it will be more so he just stay there at home he will look after the dog Magda and he will do his stuff there because he already have planned what he will do while we are away anyway the school of colleagues because you know the aunties of his father was worried about the school of Calix and I said no it's okay because anyway Calix is studying online so this is also good like if you have emergency travel or emergency that you need to go there just we bring we, we just bring the computer so that's all no no worries about the studying of Calix you good how oh, good Finally, I feel dizzy guys and sleepy because I wake up very early today. See you there in Manila. Manila Airport. Now we need to catch the bus because there is like an airport bus going to my city and it's very convenient for us where we are bus we are in the bus and i paid how much i paid 300 so i think it's good we're hungry hungry and hungry Very traffic. Very 
picture of it and come. No, 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 no. Maybe he will be arrive at home like after two hours. Isaacel guys welcome to polluted place I just go down from the bus and my eyes get the dust the dust get into my eyes just try So this tricycle, they will, oh my god, <laughs> they drop us at home and I pay them like around 120, I'm sorry. We are tired and hungry. Good morning everyone, this is Marikar from Isla Familia and I just wanted to share some few <coughs> things about our culture in funeral, you know. In the Philippines, when people die, it is tradition to hold a wake vigil that lasts up to five or seven nights. Sometimes it takes like more, sometimes it's like ten days because some Filipino or family they are waiting from family like working abroad this is really important to us to be you know there because it is the chance for the family <coughs> and friends of of a deceased to pay their last respect to the death when going to wake we expected to wear white or black I mean dark you know that's a uh, showing of respects and <clears throat> some people they also do the cremation <clears throat> but i think this is kind of expensive and more likely this is for the rich filipino so yeah the father of calix waited for us for calix then the the last night of <coughs> his father they last like i don't know nine nine days so in the ninth day they put him to the grave so now we will go back to Dumaguete a few days more here and yeah so that's all I can say I have like colds because of the cats because my mother have a lot of cats but you know thank you for sending some condolences we appreciate and Matt didn't go because it will be very expensive for us to go <coughs> all of us here in Manila but we are very thankful that Matt uh, you know let us go here 
without hesitation. He's like very nice person. So, you know, me and Calix is very thankful for him that we have we had chance to go here for the last time of his father. So, <coughs> please, if you like this video, give us a comment, like share and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for us to grow our channel that helps our channel grows and thank you so much for all of you watching our vlog and supporting us see you in the next episode <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we we came we come here like at night guys because we are afraid that plane can leave us you know it can be traffic in the morning it's like because it happens to me like before like the first time we will live together me and Matt with Calix so the airplane was what we are like Calix one hour late now we are one hour late the time we are one hour late the time so then when we arrived here and the, and I and I tried to check in and the the, the, the guard said uh, and I asked the guard Kuya what happened why why I cannot check in and she, he said oh ma'am the plane already already left and I said what <laughs> so you know I told Matt then I said the plane already left then he said what you will do and I said oh my god um. uh, I told him that we will go you know I already decide you take the risk that we will go so we have to buy a rebook we did like rebook so we paid like what an additional 3k i think that time so now we will go straight into the domestic domestic entrance and try to find the seat there you know and wait for the time kiddos are so very sleepy We're just waiting for the boarding yeah we are like already here in the gate oops sorry where did you go we're just waiting for the boarding then see you soon tata it's freezing cold here guys <laughs> freezing cold oh my god change the gate this is what we love here in manila airport that you know you all you are already there in the gate and they will tell you ah oh, mom sorry but the aircraft they change the gate so you have to go down and go up and go down and go up more fun the philippines <laughs>